high shooters, Richard for Richie Sidraps 4, and today we're going to take a close look at the 636 Generation 3 Razor. The 6 to 36 Generation 3 Razor is built like the 4.5 to 27 Generation 2. They're both built like a tank. And we will check out the tracking, the turrets, the zoom, the parallax, glass quality, reticle design and use, coating and of course ergonomics. For six months now, the 6 to 36 generation 3 has been uh, among us and we have been testing him uh, in competition and on the range, uh, sp especially for the tracking and the turret use, um, the zoom, the parallax. Tracking is simple, it's a triple plus, like we are used uh, from the generation 2 razors. Uh, tracking is perfect, up, down, left, right. We've been, we pushed it to its limits in every direction and we never uh, got uh, a one click uh, miss or a, a, a one more than a one click difference in elevation or in windage. There is uh, some discussion about uh, the click values. Actually, it's a locked turret. Actually, they are very, very, very distinctive. You can hear them. It's no problem at all. But uh, the Generation 2 uh, clicks are even more distinctive. So, when you're really used to a turret that you almost have to manipulate with your gloves on because it's so sturdy, then you might uh, be surprised that the larger model is a little bit more sensitive and a little bit less, but not less clear, but less aggressive in its clickings. Zero stop systems uh, from Vortex are different model by model. Um, but finally, for this uh, top Razer Generation 3 uh, version, they found a really simple system. Just one vise that you have to loosen, and you can zero with a fluid move without clicking you can zero in any distance that you want you simply block the vice again and you're at zero so the outer turret stays simply on zero so it's lifted on zero so if you click away and if you click back you come to zero minus five so one, two, three, four, five clicks. So finally, I hope this will be the system that, we, that they will apply from now on on uh, all further models. Windage uh, setting is uh, the same, just one vice. A fluid setting. You block the setting, you're on zero and then you can click right or left. Next uh, important thing is the side focus, the parallax ring. Here we have uh, the distances so in the uh, numbers and see from 500 meters to infinity you have a lot of travel compared with most side focus that have less than one centimeter travel between five, six hundred and infinity. Look, you're at 500 here, we go to, let's say, 1000, you go to infinity and a little bit over it. So this is actually 
the complete 500 to infinity range. Um, infinity is here uh, at about 12, 1300 meters and you still have the ability to get a very sharp image up to 2 kilometers, it's no problem. Um, frankly, when you're at 1500, 1700, 2000 meters, uh, you don't have uh, the possibility to have a very sharp image. There are so much uh, other uh, factors interfering. But uh, this uh, configuration is one of the easiest to use. And it's very, very, very nice that above 1000 meters, you still have a lot of travel to correct your picture. A lot of scopes, a lot of long range scopes uh, are at 1000, 1200 meters, um, are at their maximum focus point. That doesn't matter so much, but it's. Uh, Good to know that you have some reserve in this one, and if weather conditions permit you, that you can actually uh, put a very sharp image uh, in extended long range, let's say above 1500 meters, you still have the possibility to get your image very sharp. The throw level that is delivered uh, with the 6 to 36 is of course very handy. You can move really fast from higher to lower and from lower to medium. Very regular zoom, not too stiff, not too loose and with the throw level really uh, comfortable uh, to manipulate. Big plus. Illumination 2 is uh, the most simple and the easiest way to be used. You just pull the illumination ring out, you see, you pull it out, and you put it on the settings that you want. And every setting is has a zero between it. So if you're used to shoot on seven, you don't have to go back to zero, you just put it between seven and eight or six and seven. While so we're very... talking about uh, the illumination on the generation two razors, the whole reticle was eliminated, uh, draw points, everything. On the generation 3, they just eliminate the horizontal and the vertical posts. So if you turn down the zoom to the minimum, you have a clear red cross to aim and not a red cross with some points or figures besides it. You have a clear red cross. Tactically, tactically uh, it is very sound to move on 6 or on 5 and to have an eliminated rectangle that helps you shooting with little cross, shooting short distance engagements if necessary. Glass quality is uh, like we are used uh, from uh, the Razors uh, Generation 2. Um, Excellent glass, the best glass you can get actually for uh, rifle optics, for scopes. Um, you don't have uh, 15 uh, glass uh, manufacturers in the world. This one comes from the Japanese uh, producer, like the Citron glass. So the HD and ED glass from Citron and from Razor is basically the same. Um, the glasses have some, a little bit of warmer color than uh, Nightforce or, or Citron has. Uh, more likely to be in the range of uh, warm, warm colors uh, like Schmidt and Bender. Uh, and must say that's a personal choice uh, uh, for shooting, extra shooting results. It does not have any influence. Uh, you must also really look deep into it and compare it side by side to see any differences in, in color or so, but you will not or, or, or frankly almost not see any differences between in contrast, in uh, sharpness between uh, from 2008, 3000 euros on. I mean, I won't say every glass is as good 
as it could be, but in, in that price category, you don't actually you don't have to worry about glass quality. It's more about uh, tracking and uh, mechanical quality. Glass quality is far more than actually you need for a competitive uh, PRS shooting or long range in shooting. In my opinion, it's uh, one of the three, four best uh, scope uh, glasses quality uh, on the market today. As we are used from uh, Vortex, the razor line has uh, the best coating uh, you can get for a rifle scope. This model was actually abused a little bit with too high pressure mounted on it, and we have to uh, really unscrew one of the screws with a lot of uh, counter pressure, and you, you can't even see that there were rings on it. Uh, this is uh, the, 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 the strongest coating I know uh, from any of any uh, scope uh, manufacturer. Vortex razor coating is fabulous, fabulous. You, you see some spots, but <laughs> it is like <laughs> that's the, look <laughs> how it goes. I mean, this is fabulous. Um, this best coating on the market, simplest. Uh, ergonomics are always a little bit uh, personal preferences. There are people that does not want. Uh, those heavy tactical turrets, but I can assure you if you're uh, wearing a glove or if you're really pushing the limits in uh, in time uh, and in uh, positions that you have to take, you're happy to have those large uh, turrets, uh, to have those large uh, possibility, the possibilities to manipulate it really fast and uh, in, the, in, in a very sound way that you can hear, hear if I hear the clicks, feel the clicks and, and, and see it very clearly, everything. So, when you make the one turn with the turns, I forgot to mention, when you make the full turn, so we will open them up, and we make the full turn, so we are at 100 clicks now. There we go, the moment we pass 100 clicks, look here, you can see, this is the indicator here, this is the indicator here that you're actually there it is you can see it that you're actually going on your second turn and if you continue voila, it even comes further out warning you that you're on your third turn now you can see it uh, third turn that means 300 clicks so we'll continue and see what we what is left after the 100 meters, uh, zero, so 340, 50, 60, 70, 80, 380 uh, clicks left after the 100 meter. This one is put on the 100 meters here on the Taco Technical. So after, with the 380 clicks. So if you put the 34 millimeter tube in a spur with 130 mil clicks, you have 380 plus 130. That's 510 clicks you get in a 6 to 36, 56 objective. That means that you, this is extended long range. As simple as it is, uh, a 3,500 euros scope uh, deserves uh, a 390 euro spur mount and you can get the 34 millimeter tube um, with uh, 130 um, click uh, elevation from Spur. So you count, you add the ones that are left and you add the ones that you get from the mount and you, you pass, the moment you pass 500 uh, emerald clicks uh, available uh, for use plus the overhaul of the rectangle. From that moment on uh, we can speak of a true uh, extended long-range scope.